guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you how to make this beautiful eye low ball dress if you are stopping by this channel for the very first time thank you for stopping by and do not leave without subscribing if you have not already do all to like this video if you found it very helpful and i know that you find it very helpful of course and without further ado let's get straight into today's video so i'm working with the length 19 and waist of 21 the very first thing i'm doing is to get the longest length for my eye low ball dress so to do that i'll just add two inches to my length in this case it gives 21 these two inches is one inch for sewing allowance and one inch for crinoline because i want to add crinoline to the egg to give it a beautiful effect so afterwards um my highest my longest length is 21 i'll cut six low um layers underneath and i'll cut it at 19 inches then for the outer layer that has the eye low effect what i'm going to do is that i'm going to cut out the longest length i want first after which i'll give it out I'll, I'll shape it i'll trim it to give it that eye low effect so i'll want to subtract three inches from this longest length and you can do whatever you want depends on what you want to achieve you can make you can subtract more than two inches depending on what you want but for me i want to subtract three inches so 21 minus three that gives me 18 so that means for the um the outer layer that has that eye low effect i'm going to be causing that 18 inches first before i now trim it into the eye low effect so now go ahead to cut out my net. So I'm about to trim my net into the eye low effect. So I'm going to open up my net in half like so. I'll open it up so that I can trim it. So at this midpoint, I'll mark the measurements I want the lowest part to be. In this case, I will like to use 9 inches. So I'll go ahead to mark my 9 inches. So I'll be connecting my eye low from that marked point of 9 inches, which is the lowest point. I'll be connecting it to the um, longest part of the net. I don't know if that makes sense. So at that midpoint, I will try to measure about 13 inches just so that 
when I'm connecting my ILO, it can be a little easy for me. So I just connect from that 9 to 13 inches. And from 13 inches, I connect it to the longest length of 18 inches. So I'm using my chalk to connect my eye low from the 9 inches to the 13 inches then from 13 inches to the longest length of 18 inches after which I'll cut it out For my doll face, which I'll put my gathered net on, I'm cutting it in 360 degree flare. To get the radius for my 360 degree flare, I'm going to add 3 inches to my waist measurement. In this case, that is 21 plus 3, and that's going to give me 24. So I'll divide the 24 by 6.28, which is going to give me 3.8. So that 3.8 is going to be the radius of my 360 degree flare. So I'm joining all my layers of net together as one single piece. At this point, if you have not liked this video, let it just take a second to hit the like button. Thank you. So if you are yet to like this video, just take a second and eat on this.
I'll notch my net at the midpoint like so and start gathering my net to my waist measurement. Before that, I'll leave one and a half inches for zip allowance at the edge before I start gathering my net to my waist measurement. <laughs>